Welcome back to Discrete Mathematics. Today we're going to take a look at tree directories and traversals. So first we're going to take a look at root labeling and this is basically when we take a tree we pick a root node so that just means the top node and we sort of we lift it up out of the paper and then we see where everything else falls. So we get a tree that looks like this where it just keeps splitting downward. And how do we label roots? Well, there's two different conventions that I am aware of, but I am going to use the convention that is consistent with the majority of the texts. And that is, we're going to label the top root with a one. And how we do this is we just branch down. So we take one step down and the leftmost step down, we take our root above, which is one, then we add a point and then we add another one because it is the first on the second level. So it's 1.1. Then for the node to the right of it, we will now have 1.2. And we will keep going right, so here we'll have 1.3. So this is how we'll label it. Now we go from 1.1, we take a look at its daughters, so the ones directly below it. The leftmost one is going to have its parent's address, 1.1, and then it's the leftmost one, so it'll be 1.1.1. And to the right, its last child will be 1.1. Point two. So they have the same parent, which is 1.1, so we just add another point, and then from left to right we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. So this bottom one here is going to be 1.1.1.1, 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. and we'll have 1.1.1.2. 1. 1. 1. 1. 2. What about this middle node here? So under 1.2. Want to take a guess? It's going to be 1.2.1. 1. 2. 1. And we'll take a look at its children. One on the left, 1.2.1.1, 1. 1. 1. and 1.2.1.2. 1. 2. 1. 2. So you can sort of see the pattern here. I'll complete the rest. So for 1.3's children, we'll get 1.3.1 1. 1 and 1.3.2. 1. 2. Its child is going to be. 1.3.2.1 1. and one more child will be 1.3.2.1.1 1. 1. 1. so those might look like sevens they're ones um i sometimes write these ones just because they're clearer than straight lines so that is root labeling incredibly boring task but this is what computers do with your folders so so you have your uh your C drive and that's your one so actually let's let's do a tree with this here we have our C drive then we have some folders this one might be your program files this is the Windows folder and then on the right we might have the uh, what's another folder in your C drive maybe the users folder and of course from the program files you might have uh, I don't know, like World of Warcraft or um, Photoshop. I guess it'd be Adobe. Um, in the Windows folder, you'll have System32, which you do not delete. And in Users, you'll have your username. So probably like, uh, I don't know, what's what's something that YouTube viewers would, would have? Aspiring mathematicians and computer scientists. Uh, probably something like, I don't know, like Bunny Girl 43 something like that. So this is a rooted tree where the C drive is the root one, then it branches off into 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 so on and so forth. So this is root directories. All right, kind of boring stuff, but what they're used for is for talking about binary trees. So a binary tree is a tree where every parent node has exactly two children. 
So that means two nodes branching below it. Of course, it can be a terminal node. So if it's a terminal node, it just has zero kids. So for example, this tree, the root is a plus and then it has two children, three and five. This corresponds to three plus five. Okay, what about this other tree here, where we have a minus sign with children plus and seven, and the plus sign has children three and five? Well, we just build up the tree. So we have this expression, which is three plus five, and then we have this expression, which is three plus five, and then we take our minus sign, and then we do minus seven. Okay, what about over on this right one? Well, we take a look at the lowest children. We have seven minus nine, and we have five plus seven minus nine, and then we have three times five plus seven minus nine. So those are binary expressions in trees. So the way I wrote them is called the infix notation. So infix notation, basically we use our operator in the middle. So for instance, there are three ways we can write expressions. One is infix, one is prefix, and another one is postfix. So with this, we have something like three plus five. In prefix, we'd have plus three five. So I should probably put commas to separate this to make it look a little bit more readable. And with postfix, we would have three five plus. So it's just where the operator goes. Does the operator go before, does it go after, or does it go in between? So this is where traversals are gonna come in. So here's the first example, the pre-order traversal. So we wanna order these numbers using a pre-order traversal. So how do we do traversals? Well, we start at the root and we just go down the left side and then we start going up and around whenever we can. So we're always gonna take a path that looks like this always. Now, how do we know which way we order things? Well, here's the trick. With pre-order, what we do is we just color in the left side, or we put a little dash, let's put a little dash, on the left side of every node. So here's our little dash here. And this is basically a flag. So when we take our traversal, and we should start to be more specific, we start right up here, and then we go down. What we do is when we take our traversal here, as we hit a flag, we just write down the number. So starting at the top here, like let's make this go through. We start off at one, and we hit one's flag, so we write down one. Then we hit two's flag, so we hit two. Then we hit five. Then we go up, we hit nothing, we hit six. We go all the way around, we hit three's flag. Then we hit four, seven, nine, and eight. So this is the pre-order traversal. So this is the flag hitting system when we go down. And what this really looks like is, let's say we had the expression uh, star for multiplication, we have a plus a minus, we have a three, a six, and then a five and a two. So we want the prefix notation for this, for a pre-order traversal. So what this looks like, we put our flags on all these things here. Um, so those are our flags. It looks kind of weird when I do it this way, but we're gonna go through it like this. I'm gonna hit this. I drew it a little bit weird, so. This is what it would look like though. So we'd write down a star, then we hit the plus, then we hit the three, we hit the six, we hit the minus, we hit the five, and then we hit the two. So what this really looks like with prefix notation 
is we do the star and then we do it on its two children. So it'll be the plus three six and the minus five two. So we get something that looks like this. And this plus is gonna hit the three and the six and this minus will hit the five and the two. So this is just prefix notation for three plus six times five minus two. So this flag system on the left for pre, we put the flag on the left and then we get the prefix notation. So up here I just use numbers in the tree, but we can just use a binary expression instead. So what about post order traversal? What do you think we do with post? We're still gonna take the same path. So it'll look like this. But with post order traversal, because we say post, we're just gonna put our flags on the right. And then we'll order them this way. So whenever we hit the flag, we write it down. And with this way, we're gonna hit one at the very last. So the root is gonna be the last one, which is good, that's what we want. So here in post order traversal, we have five, six, and then two, since two is operating on five and six. Then we'll hit three, then we'll hit nine, seven, eight, four, and then finally one. So that's gonna be post order traversal. So let's take a look at another tree here. So again, we want a binary tree for our expressions. So it's gonna be star plus minus six, three, five, and two. Take the same path. So we'll go like this. That'll be our path. And we put the flags on the right. So it's our lovely flags there. So in this case, the first thing we hit is the six, then we hit the three, then we hit the plus. So we know the plus is operating on the six and the three, and then we're gonna hit the five, the two, and the minus. So the minus is operating on the five and the two, and then finally we get the times last. So this is six plus three times five minus two. This is post order, so with post, Again, pre and post. In pre, you put the flag on the left. In post, you put the flag on the right. So let's give pre and post order expressions for this tree. So we know the path now. So for pre order, we put the flags on the left. So we'll do this one in pink. Okay. Okay, that is the eraser. It's not what I wanted. Okay, flags on the left. So first we're going to hit the star, then we'll hit the plus, we'll hit the three, the seven, the minus, the ten, and then the five. I'm going to change this to a nine so that way we aren't working with two digit numbers. So what this says is the minus operates on the nine and the five, the plus operates on the three and the seven, and the multiplication operates on the plus three seven and the minus nine five. That's pre-order. Post-order, flags on the right. So in this case, we're gonna hit three, seven, and then plus. So the plus operates on the three and the seven. Then we're gonna hit nine, five, and the minus. So the minus operates on the nine and the five. And then we finally get our multiplication, which operates on the three, seven plus and the nine, five minus. So that is pre and post order. Another one you get is something I didn't write about because it wasn't in the book, but we'll add this in anyway, in order. So in order is an example like three plus five. So how do we do in order? Well, do a very simple tree here. If pre-order flag was on the left and post-order was on the right, where do we think in order is? It's gonna be on the bottom. So we flag the bottoms 
and then when we hit, we write it down. So with in order, let's take a look at the expression for in order, and we'll show something that looks kind of normal to us. So we'll do this one in white, flag the bottom. So here we're going to get 3 plus 7 times 9 minus 5. We can bracket to make it look more clear, but this is something we recognize, and this is in order. So that was root directories and traversals. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, check out trevtutor.com for some more material. And we also have a Reddit community at reddit.com slash r slash trevtutor, where you can answer questions there. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe, share, and like the video. It would help a lot. And that is all. I hope you guys have a good day.